Well, let's delve into the local markets now. Mia Kruger, Portfolio Manager at Kruger International, joining me at the desk. Mia, thanks so much for your time. Uh, let's firstly start off with a story that came out late in the day, Astral Foods. It's a very small company, uh, but I suppose it just indicates the dire straits that poultry farmers are in, basically saying in the fourth quarter of 2013, worst historic quarter they've ever had. Yes, it's a terrible story for them. I mean, input costs have have really put a lot of pressure on them. The um, the imports of, of chicken from countries like Brazil has also put a lot of pressure on them, making it very difficult for them to um, to actually put the input cost through to to the end user. So there's a there's a tight squeeze for them on margins, and um, we're seeing this coming through in their results. Mm -hmm. And of course, just looking at that, yes, another company and yes, another sector that was affected by the strike action uh, last year. I mean, they, because of violent strikes, they lost 65,000 chickens, people were killed on their farms, and they're basically saying at this point in time, because of the uh, repercussion, as, as a result of that, they're going to have to embark on, on job cuts. So that, of course, a, a scary signal from them. Yes, it is a very sad story. I mean, there's, that's only one of the many problems, as we know about, in, in, in the poultry industry in South Africa. Unfortunately, there are a lot of problems there. Um, the the um, violent strikes, only one of them that, unfortunately, Unfortunately, also hampered the industry even further. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the banking sector, African Bank uh, off the top 40 now, but coming up with a trading update today, looking at uh, credit disbursements coming in flat at 7.43 uh, billion rand for the first quarter. Gross advances increasing by 8%. Uh, how did the market react to these numbers? Well, I think the big thing is we know that Abel is very conservative in their management of their book. Um, they've they've um, outright said that they're actually going to to tame their growth and rather stick on the on the safe side. They are um, much much stricter these days with with um, granting loans. Mm -hmm. They've actually reduced the loan term and also reduced the size of their loans, which I think is a is a, a great um, move in, in in their sake. And um, it's it's on the conservative side. And so we know we're not going to see excessive growth um, growth from this company, the growth that we have seen over the last couple of years. But rather that, because we know what's coming. I mean, there there's a lot of unsecured credit in the market. The, um, the 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 uh, consumer will come under under pressure later, and if interest rates start to rise, these credit providers will come under pressure, and it will be a problem for the guys who actually stuck it out last and lent the last money to to unsecured lenders. Mm -hmm. So of course th that is a good signal, I suppose that they and they have indicated that that they're putting their, their bra the brake basically on uh, aggressive lending, uh, and regulators basically been calling for this. But uh, how do you view African bank? right now because uh, there have been so many mixed views on, on the outlook for the company. Uh, are you bullish or bearish on the stock? Well, the company is trading at a very good valuation. It's um, trading the cheapest of all of the banks. I mean, even if you compare it to Capitec, which we know is much um, much more expensive, they don't pay such a lovely dividend as, um, as Abel does. But um, Abel has a very strong management team. They've come through difficult times. They've actually shown their steel and they've, they've managed this company through, through tough times and through pr um, profitable times. So I think it's still a, a solid company and yeah, I'm still happy to hold it in my portfolio. Mm -hmm. Cash build also coming out to some uh, numbers today for the second quarter. So revenue was up there by 1%, uh, but unit sales were down 5%. An indication that they are pushing through, I suppose, some prices uh, to consumers. Uh, Again, market reaction to that? Well, generally, if we looked at the stats, they were down in volume because they've opened more stores. And um, if you just looked at the comparable stores, they, their volume were actually down and, and the sales were down. So not a very good story. This company, everyone grew, um, grew accustomed to growing in, in the areas of about 8% every year. And, and that's not what we're seeing for the half year now. We're seeing around 2%. You know, we also, I also read an article this morning where um, it talks about all the foreign foreign and especially Chinese shops opening in the rural areas mm -hmm. that also supply the same building materials. And another problem, I mean, on this on the unsecured lending side, we know that a lot of the unsecured lending that we have seen has actually been used for, for lower income households to improve their homes. That is not a sustainable model, so mm -hmm. it's not a a fabulously bright story for cash build. Yeah, it certainly isn't. But City Lodge, of course, is is the kind of uh, rose amongst the thorns today, if you could call it that. Uh, that's a trading update for the interim period coming out. And uh, they've got this BE deal. So if you look at the diluted uh, headline earnings per share, which include the cost of the BE deal, those are expected to be between 60 and 65% high. You take out that, and then you take out the BE cost and the implications of that, and earnings are expected to be up at 27 to 32% high for the interim period. Those are all the numbers. 
uh, your reaction to those? Well, it's good numbers. It, it came out very well. And I mean, it's not the, the norm that, that a company does a BE deal and actually improves their earnings. So mm -hmm. I, it's probably a, a good thing for, for City Lodge. It is a smaller company and not something that I will look at just for this, this result that they're bringing out.